We start tonight in Weathersfield Township, where a business had its power shut off by the city of Niles. The owner says they didn't even have any notice. First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner looked into the situation today and brings us the details of a Niles law that they're trying to enforce. It's our top story tonight at 10. John Ackworth, owner of ASAP Sanitary Services, recently bought property in Weathersfield Township. A couple weeks ago, Ackworth asked the city of Niles to change his utilities over. That's when annexation started becoming a topic of discussion. They told us that basically we uh, couldn't have any utilities as far as power, water, or sewage unless we would annex over and, to, and join the annexation. Last year, Niles City Council passed an ordinance requiring annexation of outside property if they wanted Niles utilities. This property's had service and utilities from Niles for over 30 years. Today's no different. It's just a different owner. But today, things have seemed to take a turn. City of Niles uh, showed up, uh, their power department showed up and just shut our power off without any notice or anything whatsoever. But the city of Niles mayor says that multiple notices were sent out. It, it did transfer on public record on the Trumbull County Auditor site. We do require the uh, uh, property to be, the utilities to be in the property owner's name. And the city of Niles law director says that annexation is not the only resolution. An agreement can also be reached. With the understanding that we're going to sit down and, and try to come to a, uh, an agreement, we're going to temporarily leave the utilities on. The filing of injunction is put on hold, and next week a meeting will be scheduled with the city of Niles so an agreement can be made with Ackworth. In Niles, I'm Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.